Hey guys, just a, another quick little update on um, on the coaxial custom bike frame. Starting to get to, <laughs> it's turning into a bit of a mouthful. Um, so you can see here I've modified the controller box. I've cut off about 15 or 20 millimeters off of this end and cut it down on an angle. This is just a temporary 3D printed piece just to figure out my angles and stuff there. Uh, and there'll be a hole in the down tube here for the cables that need to run up to the handlebars. So, you know, uh, throttle cable and things to that effect. So I've done that. I've also cut a bit of an angle on this side. I need to make a cover for that end. And I've cut about maybe 10 or 15 millimeters out of the width of it as well. Um, it's all just loose pieces at the moment. I've got a kind of weld or glue them back together. Haven't decided which yet. Um, and I've also started to trim back some of these pieces on either side here just to get a bit more brake rotor clearance like I was talking about in the previous video. Obviously got to fill in those little sections. Um, still saving money for the batteries but um, a couple of members um, have got some for sale that they can get me so it's 30Q, Samsung 30Q sales. Shout out to Cowardly Duck uh, on Endless Fair, Blake. Um, over at e-bike garage I'll, I'll try and put a link to that down there in the description to his his uh, channel but he's coming through with some of the sales for me from one of his suppliers and another member is coming through with uh, another amount of the same sales I'm not sure if he wants me to say who he is so I won't um, but thanks guys um, I'll get to there <laughs> Oh, I'll get there. I'll be in touch in sometime in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, yeah, but she's definitely coming along. Um, yeah, a few things to go. I kind of got a little bit distracted with the um, 3D printed oh, frame I was kind of conceptualizing. Um, obviously, that's in two pieces there. But um, I was just toying with the concept of whether I could 3D print a bike frame and then uh, wrap it in carbon fiber afterwards. Um, my conclusion was it, it's definitely possible um, and you'd probably get a pretty strong frame out of it but um, you know or you could rather get a pretty strong frame out of it but honestly it's a bit of a pain in the ass and um, you know there's a reason why people people use uh, clamshell two-part molds to do these kinds of things so but uh, that was a fun experiment either way. Um, <laughs> keep my mind busy while I'm while I'm waiting to save some money. Um, yeah, but she's definitely coming along and um, yeah, keep watching and I'll I'll keep posting videos. If you if you like like the content, click like and sub subscribe and all that stuff to stay updated and uh, yeah, cheers for watching.